Stuart Briggs, owner at Boundary CrossFit. Dave Adams, owner at Boundary CrossFit. Um, the grass. Grass for you. You love that. When the grass went in. Green. Green, luscious turf there for our social area. <laughs> Just set the whole thing off. Yeah. I think for me it was uh, the spray gun for the spraying the ceilings black. It was a good crack. Game and, changer. Uh, it was a game changer for sure. And it was quite therapeutic and quick. And yeah, it's a good crack using that. For some reason we didn't hire it for the walls. We did all the walls by, just by hand like, and then we got the gun just for the, the exposed ceiling. But yeah. Massive. It's big like, yeah. It's uh, some setup. Big time. Um, seeing, seeing the stuff go through was brilliant. Like the wall ball targets, get, seeing them getting cut out there and then was was good and seeing it all come together and how it pieces together and you know, it was brilliant. Mm -hmm. The bean bags? Bean bags. <laughs> it's cool, yeah. cool place to work. Need to get a few for, for our office. Yeah. Probably the whole lockdown thing really. Um, just trying to plan and just the unknown of in terms of restrictions and not having a date. Um, we're kind of just flying blind in that sense, so um, yeah, I think that just made it hard to kind of promote and have something to work towards and kind of know how to market it at the same time. Um, it's kind of a wee bit unnerving when you're opening a gym while gyms are not allowed to be open in your head, even though you know rationally, we're going to open. Um, what about you? The same, like last year, everything was structured when, you, <coughs> when we had to get open by and we worked to that date and made sure that we hit that deadline, whereas this has been slightly different. Certainly probably from a marketing point of view, not knowing you know, when to kind of start getting you know, stuff out there for people to, to you know, see when we're opening and, and, and get the interest going. So yeah, that's been the most difficult bit. Rent the paint gun <laughs> from the start. Yeah. Um, I think we've, we've learned to like get the right people to do the right job, you know, yeah. if, you know get the person that specialises in the thing that you need done. Um, having the right people, um, you know, definitely helps in smoothing the whole process out. Um, Project management wise, this time, like, you know, Dave took quite a bit on at the start out with shoulder surgery. Um, but you can see that the lessons learned last year has led to a much more seamless kind of you know, things coming in at the right time, being fitted at the right time, as opposed to back to front, and then having to fix something down the line, everything was much smoother throughout this, uh, this fit out, so, yeah. Um, for me, probably muscle up rings. Yeah. Just, uh, I love that Samson, Samson rig, um, and uh, the arms coming off. Right, and then the muscle rings just to freedom and get the big kip going and landing up there at the top of the muscle up. For me, it's not a bit of kit, but um, the new sound system, whenever <laughs> it turned up, it was about five times bigger than we thought it was going to be. So <laughs> the neighbours aren't going to be very yeah. happy when we get that thing going. To but the point we're struggling to get it on the wall. But <laughs> yeah, we actually, yeah, we, we've had to get new uh, bolts to put it on the wall, it's that big, so yeah. <laughs> Excluding you, Luke, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who have we got? Uh, John Sloan. John Sloan, our own. P John Sloan PT. He's like, <laughs> yeah, John Sloan <laughs> PT, coach at Boundary CrossFit. He's getting the shout out. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's been our kind of key contact person throughout the whole fit out in terms of like the black box supply of kit and stuff. So uh, and Curtis. Curtis, our rapper. <laughs> <laughs> His photo was on every item that came into this space. Yeah. So, wow. Uh, and wrapped by Curtis Cole. Very, very good job, Curtis. <laughs> That's a big question. Prices are getting harder. <laughs> Diplomatic answers needed. Um, you can kick this one off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they're, they're, they are definitely different. Um, so, they are a little bit bigger, so it's always going to have bragging rights for size. Uh, I think the layout here, you know, is slightly, lends itself slightly better to 
having your class in your open gym area and, and not interfering and stuff, probably the fluid is probably a wee bit better down here. Um, in, that, in that sense, showers are nicer here too. <laughs> Walk in, I had showers. You know. But Lisburn is the original, it's, uh, it's, the, it's, the, mm. it's the boundary mecca. Um, it's where it all started. It's where it all started. Yeah, what, what they have said there, like this is kind of like a, going back to an earlier question, what have we learned? We've tidied a few things up from what we learned last time. And uh, the big thing is the f how, how here sets up is much better in terms of from a coaching perspective and from a, a logistical organisational mm. There's way less wasted space down here, so even though it's smaller, we've actually managed to fit in more workout space. There's bigger rigs and racks, there's more, more bays and things, so um, yeah. Yeah, so do you want to come for a tour? Let you see the place. It's obviously a reception, it's what you're going to see when you come in the front door. One of our features is as soon as you come in the front door, you can see straight through to the actual gym floor where all the action is. So, uh, yeah, right through reception, come on ahead. So, we've got, I haven't got the signs on doors yet. Only thing left to do. We've got our ladies' change rooms and showers in here. Got the hair dryer and all sitting ready. Turn the lights on. How do you get the lights on? There's lights, there we go. Lights and all. New nice wee walk in showers. Bit of mosaic. Some nice white metro tiles. This is a good feature here the black matte shower controls, too. Check your favourite. And toilet and stuff, yeah. So. Moving down the hallway, then we're coming into our social area. So this is where you can gather before, after class, have a coffee, have a drink. Um, we've got plenty of uh, plenty of drinks on the go here. We'll have a coffee machine here. Uh, we've got a little kitchen area, so anybody that wants to heat their food or have a cup of tea, they can work away here and, and do that. Get their Slim's meals in the fridge. And then you've got the luscious grass. <laughs> you got to feel it like, see how thick good it is. Thick, good thick pile. Yeah, 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 you get lost in there. Sets the place off. <laughs> Dave, what about the Belfast sink? Belfast sink is another key feature which we are particularly proud of. Yeah. So, uh, exposed pipes and stuff, you know, keeping with the industrial theme throughout. We'll get a wee coffee machine in here tomorrow and uh, you'll have your eyes a little click, click and you know, contact us um, for paying and all that there, self service. So, that's, that'll be there. So, yeah, give me a social area. Take you through to the men's showers and change area through here. So, yeah, a bit bigger in here. Apologies, ladies, I think I've said that before, but just the way it worked out. Got two showers, um, toilet, got to be changing area. Some benches still do arrive down here. Some hooks on the walls, mirror, hair dryer. Um, all the usual kind of stuff. This is a radiator. A lot of people seem to think it's a TV, but it's a <laughs> fancy radiator that, that's due sourced. It's wireless, isn't it? Wireless. Wireless and all. Yeah, so you can operate it from home. Yeah. Keep these change rooms nice and cosy. Into the main gym itself then. As you can see on the left here, we've got the main class area. Okay, so this is where the bulk of our classes will take place. Over to the right hand side of the gym, we have our open gym area. Two rigs, wall mounted, uh, Samson rig, from Black Box. And then our freestanding uh, Goliath rig, also from, from Black Box, of course. And uh, how many pull up bars have we got? Oh, flag, that's flag. I can't, I don't know, loads. Um, do we have like 30 or something? <laughs> About 30 pull-up bars. There's lots of pull-up bars. Um, we've got the quality Challenger floor, tile 20 mil floor from Black Box as well. So plenty of density for dropping those barbells. Coming down to the end of the gym then, we've got um, Prider Track with uh, three sleds. <clears throat> we've got all our racking down at this end of the gym, making sure everything has its place. Um, keep the place tidy, obviously very important. Yeah, totally. I think that's one of our kind of key things when we're designing is that everything has to have its place. So um, even the exercise mats and stuff, they're going to have hooks, everything that goes on the wall. Uh, so nothing's like laying about on the floor. And over into the open gym section then, um, 
six echo bikes have arrived. We're still waiting on rowers, bike ergs, ski ergs. Um, we're going to have six of each machine, so there'll be 24 machines in total. Uh, but currently we only have those, but another couple of weeks to wait and the rest of the machines will be coming in. Yep. Turf. Did we say about turf? Yep. Parlours. Yep. It's all here. Beautiful action of dumbbells, right down to, what's the lightest, 10? 10 kg dumbbells. And then we have up to your sort of standard 22.5 kettlebells, full range as well. We've got, got a bit dusty again there, don't have intention to clean those, but can't wait for the dust to settle. Uh, yeah, a wee, bit of, a wee bit of turf on the shelf, protect the metal work, stop the scraping. That's something we learned from this one. <laughs> That's a yeah, that is. Yep. Stops the kettlebells from rusting. Yeah, so all of our pull-up bars are raw steel, so really good for grip, um, especially if you're doing lots of muscle-ups or toaster bar, they're really, really grippy, yeah. So they're a good job. Um, and we, we learned to put our clock a bit higher as well, so you, you've got clear visibility from anywhere to see the clock here and then another clock over in the open gym area. We've got our chalk buckets as well, try and keep the chalk nice and neat. This is a wee demonstration for, for those who have never seen how you use one of these. You actually put the chalk on your hand while your hands are still in the, in the bucket and then rub them together and then you bring them out. You know, just and you, 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 There's no need for... Contrary to popular opinion, you don't need to clap <laughs> you after to clap. you bring the chalk out of the bucket. Yep, down here we've got our wee... So she was talking about the sound system. We've got a amp desk going here so we can turn the beats up and down and play with the bass and pretend we're DJs. The we're coaches, not DJs, as I tell people often when they complain about my music. <laughs> We've got the iPad here as well, which is... Um, now covered in chalk. Uh, yeah, covered in chalk. I actually didn't touch anything now. But that's for the coaches to keep track of who's booked into each class and all of that through Team Up. Um, so this is a nice wee facility thing here to set our phones on, and coffees and, and so on. We've got a wee storage room in here, which... This keeps the Matt Fraser of floor scrubbing machines, as we call them. This bad boy here. Battery powered. Yes, no leads to worry about. And uh, that will keep these floors gleaming. You want to see it? Go to such an effort. And she comes. Oh. It takes you to do CrossFit to get it up and over that. So this bad boy, do you want a full demo? Give it a go. Power her up. Nothing like her. Get the suction down and off you go. <laughs> These sort out all the chalky handprints. So we do great control, right in nice around your uprights. Get it nice and tight, just like that. <laughs> Maybe not how exactly to do it, but nice mate. There we go. So yeah, we, we highly recommend this machine. Seems to be making some funny noises there now. Yeah, the staircase is also a cool feature. So it is. It's a great view of the gym as well. And see the scale of the workout space. It's the best view in CrossFit right there. That's it. CrossFit black box rig, eat your heart out. So yeah, we'd love to run a few competitions, something like that, maybe from from here. So an area up here would be class for spectators and stuff as well, or you know, for people doing warm ups before a comp. And then we've got lots of different ideas for using this space. It's about what 120, 120 square meters up here, something like that. Yep. Of space, so we're going to get it floored and turn it into usable space. We've even got to be bound to be up here. Got to sign up already. Good to go. Yeah. So even the height up here is good. Like. Get the pan off it, maybe have a few pull up bars and things. So, yeah. Guys, thanks for, uh, for coming on our tour. Uh, stay tuned to Instagram over the next couple of weeks once uh, we get a date. Then be sure to get down, have a look at the place, and That's see it. what you think. 
yeah, we're running a wee launch offer as well. So uh, we're gonna, if you get signed up, even to one of our, our emails, uh, you'll get some information on that launch offer and uh, some early access to that. So uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. But it's been a fun journey. It's been a fun journey, yeah, for sure.